Hey there, welcome back to my channel. My name is Natalie. Category pages aim to focus on the keywords that are frequently searched by users. However, because the standard category templates generally have less space for content than other pages, it can be difficult to optimize a category page for organic search rankings. Today, I will show you how to optimize a commerce category pages with RankMed plugin that will boost your online presence. Without any further ado, let's dive in. If you have a WooCommerce store, then you know that your category pages are essential to your website navigation and user experience. A category page is a page that groups contents with similar characteristics. For example, I have this WooCommerce demo store about the printer shop. If I open my WooCommerce products and I select categories from this drop-down list and then click on the filter button, you easily realize I've got my t-shirts category. Likewise, e-commerce owners use category pages to organize products into logical groupings that make the online shopping experience easier. Besides the homepage, category pages have the widest and highest priority position on an e-commerce website. They pull in some of the most comprehensive and popular keywords searches. The first step is to install and activate the RankMed plugin. You can do this by navigating to the plugin section of your WordPress dashboard, and then you run a search for RankMed. And there it is. Once you find it, you just need to click to install and then activate. I have already installed and activated. Now let's configure the rank map settings. So click on the dashboard at rank map dashboard to configure the rank map settings. You can do this by following the setup wizard here. I have already done so and I have set my rank math advanced mode. The rank math plugin has these two modes and you can switch it here. The advanced mode has more commands and features and that's why I have selected this mode. I'm not covering the setup in this video. I have already done this in my previous tutorial. So check the description box. I will leave there the link for you. Now it's time to optimize your category pages URLs. So navigate to the rank mat section of your WordPress dashboard and click on general settings. URLs are displayed in search results. So it's a key feature for ranking in Google search results. And then click on the WooCommerce tab. If you want the shorter URLs, which is recommended by Google, you can enable this. I suggest you enable these three first options, remove base, remove category base and remove parent slugs to make your URLs shortest. It's a personal preference you must decide. As to me, I recommend you activate them all in order to turn your URLs shorter. And the last option is for the snippets data. So you need to select the appropriate taxonomy to be used in the rich snippet data. I go with product categories so that the rank Set this up appropriately. The next move is to optimize the category titles for search engines. So select from the Rank Mat tab Titles and Meta. And then scroll down and find Product Categories. Inside this panel, we are previewing the title tag format for my store. At the moment, we have five variables, terms, archives, page, separator, and site name. We have the flexibility to remove any of these variables. And if you open up the drop-down list, these are the items you can insert, separator character, a search query, and counter. 
Always remember to consider your keyword research. Prioritize offering context to your product categories title so that when any of the search engine scrolls, it really thinks this is about a printer shop. Let's optimize the data lively now. So open your product category item. Let's optimize this mug item. Scroll down a little bit to allocate rank match settings. And this is a live preview of the snippet. This is the, the preview editor. We can arrange this. As you can see, I have not optimized it and rank mat is telling me I have a lot of errors. So let's go through all of them to fix them. Click on the edit snippet to do so. And I, I have this poor ranking when it comes to the title. It has this red color and what I need to achieve now is to turn into the green color, meaning it's well optimized. So if I insert now some powerful words, notice what takes place. Aha, the score has already been improved. Next, I want to insert cheap, cozy and blue with a little space. Now, as you can see, the red color, we got this green color ranking. Try to make your title catchy and include your focus keywords. So for the permalink, which is the unique URL displayed below the post title in the search results, I also want to include my words. So fantastic, ship, cozy, blue. And then for the description, I copy and then I paste it here. These are my focus keywords. And we can preview on desktop or mobile. Now let's add our focus keyword. Open your products, all products, and then open these SEO details and then insert your focus keyword. Let's now check the rank method. Ranking is much better. And now we not just need to fix on in the SEO title. This is quite easy to do. So fantastic, cozy blue. All right, I've got my green color up. And now I repeat the same for the focus keyword in your SEO meta description. So select it, copy, Paste it here, the beginning of the text. So my SEO score is 56. Okay. And now I repeat for the meta description. Okay. And now I need to put in my permalink. Cool. And the recommendation is to have a minimum of 60, 600 words. This is how it looks like on the front end. Search engines can easily find my focus keyword on the product, the title and description. And this is what makes a good, a good Google ranking score. Now let's add breadcrumbs to make it easy for visitors to navigate my website. If you don't find at first the breadcrumbs function what I suggest you doing is using the rank mat search box located at your top right. Enter breadcrumbs, select it, and now all you have to do is to activate it by turning it on. The next step is to optimize the category images. Images play a key role when it comes to SEO optimization. It's a major ranking factor for search engines. So select the image tab, and enable this option is helpful when you forget to insert the alt HTML attribute. It's automatically added. I will show you in a second how you can do this. Also, you can activate the option below for the same use case reasons. To add the alt attribute, look at the product. You want to insert the alt attribute inside WordPress. In my case, it's this one, edit, and then click on the image field located at your right side. And the final step would be to add here your alt text with your keywords. Now let's talk about internal links categories based on your plan. 
This is can really help search engines to better understand the internal relationships between your pages and to attract more traffic. So move over to the general settings tab and from and from this this panel you can add no follow HTML attributes. An easy way to find your best internal links is by using the Google Search Console. Examples of internal links include table of contents, jump links or anchor links to help your readers quickly find what they are looking or blog comments. So it really depends on what your website is about and your full plans. Last but not least is to optimize robots meta tag. So let me show you how to enable these on rank mats. So enter the robot meta, this one, and robot files are clear instructions we provide to search engines and they can be changed for individual posts, taxonomies, and so on. This option no index is for use cases. We are saying to search engines to no index. It may be useful to avoid being indexed for empty category pages, for example. That's it. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to ask me. I really hope you have learned something new. Please like, share, or subscribe to this channel. My name is Natalie. I recommend you watch this upcoming video where I show you three different SEO plugins and how to set up RankMath properly.